let's learn about alcoholism. Notice someone with the following symptoms. Get defensive about drinking. Show sign of irritability and extreme mood swing. Make excuses for drinking, such as to relax, feel stress, or feel normal. Loss of interest in activities and hobbies. Make rash decision under alcohol influence, example leaving the bar with stranger or ground driving. Shows withdrawal symptoms such as sweating, trembling hands, and extreme irritability. Those are the symptoms you need to be aware of. So, here's the truth about alcoholism in Malaysia. Alcoholism is when a person can no longer control their use of alcohol, compulsively abuses alcohol despite its negative ramifications, and or experience emotional distress when they are not drinking. In recent times, drunk driving has been on the rise with 158 individuals being arrested in January 2020 alone for drunk driving in KL. In 2019, a total of 919 individuals were arrested for drunk driving in Malaysia. Alcohol-related crime commonly accompanies populations with high rates of alcoholism. Worldwide, 3 million deaths every year result from harmful use of alcohol. This represents 5.3% of all deaths. In 2011, Malaysia was named the 10th largest consumer of alcohol by the World Health Organization. Data from the National Health and Morbidity Survey NHMS 2011 indicated that the prevalence of alcohol consumption in Malaysia was 11.6%. Among these consumers, approximately 1 in 4 practice risky drinking. How to approach your loved one who has alcohol addiction? It's already past midnight, but Mozi hasn't returned home yet. Mozi is very drunk when he finally reached home. He is staggering and blabbering weird things. Where have you been? Look at the time. What are the neighbors going to think about us? You are such a failure. All you do is embarrassing our family. Have you not read the news of drunk people taking others' life? Are you only going to stop when you have killed people because of a road accident? Or when you yourself die from liver disease? Yes, it's all my fault. Satisfied? Avoid accusatory language and keep calm as it may trigger them to be defensive and aggressive. Mozi's sister tried to calm them down and guide Mozi back to his room. The next day, Mozi is chilling in the living room while still recovering from his hangover. How are you now? Do you feel better? I know it is not really my place to say this but I have noticed that you have been drinking a lot recently. You know, you are right. Uh, I have been a little out of control and drinking more than usual recently. But it's so hard to stop. I don't know where to start and every time I try, I fall back into it harder and feel like a complete failure. Mm. Listen to understand their addiction. Hey, no, you are not a failure. You are definitely doing the right thing by acknowledging your drinking as a problem and initiating to stop. Remind them that alcoholism is a not a moral failing. I'm proud of you for attempting to stop, but sometimes it's hard to get through this all by yourself. A professional assessment might help you figure out what exactly you are dealing with and how to overcome it. Encourage them to seek professional help. If you need any help, please know that I'll always be here. And as your sister, I love you and I will do anything to help and support you. Let them know that you care about them and you are willing to help them. Thank you for watching.